What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. We're going to get through this one pretty short and sweet. We do have two five star nominating contracts and a three star nominating contract. My mic sounds a small bit funny. I don't know why there's some setting I need to look at, so apologies. But we are going to go through this quick and we are going to highlight the best players I think you guys should definitely look at. Obviously, if you are a fan of one of these players, or you're a fan of Carvalho at Liverpool or for our. Fernandes at Benfica, uh, or even uh, Guidas at Wolves, you are obviously going to want to look at these players in a little bit more detail, but I genuinely think there's probably three to four uh, of these players that you are probably going to want to look at, uh, including Casemiro, Dybala, or Dybala, Koundé, and of course we do also have Sanchez, who has kind of traditionally down throughout the years in Pez 21, Pez 20, he's always been a fairly dominant centre midfielder. So we are going to head over to eFootball DB in just a minute. But before we do that, we are going to take a look at Carvalho, who again is a very nice player. He's got 35 levels that he can go. Really nice acceleration and speed and ball control and dribbling for a player that is an AMF and has 35 levels to go. He's got some nice player skills as well. One touch pass, first time shot, always good, cut behind the turn. We've also got this guy from Ajax, Borjwin, Borjwinj. Obviously, people are going to slag me with my pronunciations, but look, it is what it is. Um, but we've got true passing, pinpoint crossing, rising shot. This guy is a fairly typical left midfielder slash left winger. I would definitely play him left mid uh, because he's got that acceleration and the passing that you would po possibly want, the passing player skills. His stats aren't amazing, but that acceleration is going to get you out of a lot of difficulty, especially with the 2.1 gameplay at the moment. And then also we do have these two guys, Simeone, who is there for four star. He's not a bad player either. He does have standard form. He's on C this week, which is a bit of a pity, but he's not a bad striker if you're looking to get him. We've got Fernandez as well, who is a four star, who is a fairly decent four star. He's on D form, but he's got unwavering form. So that will be interesting as the year or as the weeks go by with his player rating. And we've got this guy and we've got this guy who are both left backs. And I think they're pretty similar. I mean, obviously, you've got one that's a little bit faster than the other. To be honest with you, lads, there is probably players I probably wouldn't waste a five-star um, contract on either of these guys. I wouldn't waste a contract on anyone because we don't know what players are going to come out. And, of course, we did get Rudiger in this as well. And when you look at the difference of who you can get, such as Casemiro or Kunde for a five-star nominating contract, I mean, I do think you have to be very careful as to what... Uh, player you're going to get now if you do have one of the nominated contracts that is going to expire i would definitely you know look at it then and obviously if you have a four or five star that is going to expire i definitely would look at that um but yeah these are the kind of players i mean kostic is obviously an interesting one as well he's on a form this week he's got some really nice stats on wavering form he might be worth a punt right i know a few people swear by him he's got a nice couple of levels that he can go up as well i would potentially play him as a left mid as a more defensive minded like left sided player rather than an actual outright winger because of the speed the acceleration and the dribbling you're not going to get that into the 90s which is where you need it to be if you're looking for that cutting edge if you're playing 4-3-3 or you're playing a 4-5-1 with modified uh, wingers when you're attacking if you're using a sub tactic or whatever i definitely think you just need to have killers on the left and the right like you need to have game changers neymar dembele maximin uh rodrigo ansu fati um you know, players like that, Anthony, uh, you know, Coleman, Sané, Mane, Saleh, them type of guys that can absolutely dominate on the wings because you, all you need is one chance per game with them and they can score. So I do think that Kostic is a good player, but again, there is levels to the wingers in this game. So the players we are going to focus on are these four here, Casemiro, Koundé and Dybala and Sanchez. So we're going to go over to eFootball DB in just a minute and take a look at them. All right, let's. So the first player we're going to take a look at is Casemiro, who is a very good player in my in my opinion. Obviously, playing with United, so he might be up more often than not with his player form. This week he is on D, which is a bit of a pity. It's always a week later, um, which is a bit of, a bit of a pity because I think if he was on high form, he's definitely a no brainer. But I think even this card is a no brainer. You're going you're going to be getting for a five star nominating contract. You are going to be getting one of the best DMFs in the actual game, like the whole game for end game, right? Now, we've trained him up quite decently. His speed and acceleration are a bit of an issue, but look at the player stats that he has in defense and in strength and passing, like really solid. He's going to have the tackling and aggression, defensive awareness, defensive engagement. I've always said it, right? If you do not have Makalele or Vieira, 
I think there's three DMFs that you should definitely look at that will do a job for you. If one of them doesn't, the other will. And that is Casemiro, Barrios, and I would also probably say Tonali. They're the three guys, depending on your play style. Casemiro is kind of a box-to-box, yet defensive-minded. Barrios is more defensive-minded. He's kind of like an anchorman. And then Tonali is just like a deep sitting kind of passer if you do like to spread the ball out wide. But Casemiro, absolutely insane stats. Now his normal version is 300,000 GPs. You're getting a 300,000 GP player practically for free with the nominating contract. You can unlock the nominating contract, obviously, with the event that's in the game at the moment. Kunde is next up. Again, this guy is 170,000 GP, his regular card. He goes to 25 levels. This card goes to 19 levels, but it is the best version of the card apart from the player of the week. Um one that released as well they were both 94 far, as far as i remember but again you're looking at the defensive stats 81 speed coupled then with the defensive stats of 90 91 94 and 89 you can put that up depending on how you want to train him up yourselves he's a no-brainer as well i mean between him and casemiro obviously depends on the other starting 11 and what your team is if you need a dmf or a center midfielder obviously get casemiro if you are struggling at the back get kunde i would potentially probably get casemiro anyway and then buy Kunde for 170,000 or else buy Alaba for 200,000 because they're very similar. Um, but definitely he is worth picking up, I would say, as well with this nominating contract. He's kind of the Rudiger that was released. He's the very same as Rudiger, like he's just a, a, an instant buy. And of course, you also have the C form this week, but that will pick up, obviously, with Barcelona winning a couple of games. So Dybala is up next. He goes to 93 overall. Now, SS like position is a little bit underappreciated this season, I think, because, you know, if you are going buying an SS, you are kind of tied to a specific formation that you're going to play. And back before V2.1 gameplay, the formation that was really meta was kind of having two uh, kind of like SSs or two CFs and one SS. Uh, but I think now that that's slightly changed, it's kind of gone back to the wing play again, where like keep it out wide if you want to dominate on the wings and cut in. But Dybella could actually be a really good, kind of like cheaper version of Messi, right? Obviously, he's left-footed. Obviously, he's 180,000 GP. He's on B form this week as well as we can see here, which is very decent. He goes up to a 93 overall. That will rise to a 96 overall with 100 game plan or game style proficiency. And then, of course, you have his player arrow, which might boost it up again. So potentially, you could have his dribbling at like 98 his ball or his ball control at 98, his dribbling at 94 with the proper form arrow if you want to check out my video on the form arrows check that out speed and acceleration is very decent for the other stats you're going to be getting with him passing is brilliant ball control dribbling is brilliant his kicking power is fairly decent he's got nice finishing and balance as well i think he's also a no-brainer if you're looking for something different going forward and then last but not least we have sanchez the psg man who yeah, I mean, this guy is a bit of a kind of a mixed bag because depending on how you want to play him, you can't really max him out defensively. I think pairing him with Casemiro midfield would be a very dominant midfield or maybe Kante as well would be a good one to have that would be similar to Sanchez, kind of similar um, play style. Very good speed and acceleration, very good dribbling and passing. This guy's more of a ball playing centre midfielder rather than like a destroyer, um, even though, you know, that is what he actually is. Uh, when you look at his player card, he is a box to box, but he does play like a destroyer as well. So again, his form is only two. It's not unwavering. It is standard. So that could be a slight concern. But that is it, lads. That is it for me with the players that you have here available. Obviously, you can do the free one as well. If you go back out and do the event, you can get a free spin for one of these. You can actually get a five star and a four star so you could potentially get a four star player for free and a five star player for free in the same event with the rewards check out my video if you haven't already but that is it for another one i know a few people were asking about this they're my four recommendations i will talk to you later peace